Well, it's kind of interesting because we know that um, one of the players the Browns have talked to is Zayvon Collins. So, so take a listen to Collins explain um, the type of system he thinks he fits into. Yeah, so I've told a lot of teams that ask me what position I want to play, and I don't know their defense. Like, I don't know, um, you know, the Steelers defense. I don't know the Cleveland defense. I don't know the Dallas Cowboys defense. I know no defenses right now. Um, but I think the thing that best uh, suits me is uh, my abilities to best accommodate to whatever position. So um, I would say uh, the position that's able to let someone run, chase down, make tackles in the backfield, um, you know, be in coverage, um, just run sideline to sideline, whatever position that is for a team, that's the position I'd like to be in. So, Jake, is he a scheme fit or is he a scheme mismatch for, for what the Browns want to do there? He's telling you he can do it all, which, you know, <laughs> these guys have come from it. He's always been able to do it all his whole life, you know, like these guys, especially – Zaven, who could have been an impactful player in the SEC or Big Ten, is playing at Tulsa in the conference he finds himself in, which I believe are they're in Conference USA or the or the big AAC or something like that. I can't think off the top of my head, but like he's obviously the best player on the field. Like I think he can fill a bunch of different roles. I think he can be a guy who plays curl flat hook zone as an outside backer who runs like he said, a lot of long distances to get where he needs to track down players. I also think if you're going to use an aggressive linebacker who you walk up off the edge and let him play run support and, and let him rush off the edge or or you use him as a heavy interior blitz guy, he can do that too. So I'm not here to say Zaven's wrong at all. I think he's he's making a great point about, listen, man, I don't really know what these guys are doing defensively because I, I would imagine he didn't have a ton of time to sit down and do that kind of converse, conversating like he would in normal years. But he's not wrong. He's graded well in coverage. I think he's a fine run fit defender. He can he can play at 265. He'll probably play at 265 or so, 260. That's well big enough to be able to handle guys from the first level uh, without letting linemen absorb too much, you know, get your, get into your chest and drive you. I think he's got enough shiftiness to be where he needs to be. What it comes down to is do the Browns think linebackers impact winning? Do they think that quality investment and quality linebacker play from that investment translates to more wins on Sunday? If not, they need to invest in their their the, the two things that stop quarterbacks the most, covering them uh, covering wide receivers with a, with a corner or a safety that can do a little bit of both uh, or guys that can rush the passer because that's the biggest thing in the NFL. It's not, it's not running the football so much anymore, man. It's how do we stop the throw and that's, do we invest in coverage or do we invest in um, guys who can get after the quarterback and get him on the ground? So uh, we will have our answer by, you know, probably Friday night about how much they value because there is a, a bevy of guys in the round one, two and three area that could be of interest for them when they come up at those those two picks and then into pick 89-91 uh, where they took Jacob Phillips last year there will be some interesting guys there too so they I'm I will I would not be surprised listen I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't take one at all so that's where I'm at with it if they went up and took one round one and you cut into a, a Skype or you guys called me and let's live look at Jake's face it would probably be like bug-eyed stunned <laughs> so I just that's just kind of where I am with it, and, and I'll tweet out that I was wrong if I'm wrong, as I usually do. 